This is what the New England Patriots need to do in the 2024 NFL Draft. Ryan Wilson, Josh Edwards from the With the First Pick podcast here to give you the ultimate mock draft for the team that picks third overall. All right, into the NFL Mock Draft Database Simulator we go. Let's see how this unfolds. Caleb Williams still there somehow. We'll just assume that since Drake May went second to the commanders in this particular mock draft, that we'll have to choose between Jaden Daniels, J.J. McCarthy, Michael Penix Jr., Bo Nix, or, of course, my guy Spencer Rattler. So if you're the Patriots, oh, or you can take a wide receiver here. Any consideration to that, Josh? Uh, no, I mean, I understand the argument because you do have to build out a roster maybe before you put that quarterback in there. But I'm also a believer that if you're in the position to take a quarterback that you love, uh, that you need to make that decision regardless of the rest of your roster. I mean, you can uh, have him sit on the bench for a year if you need to, but it's tough to find that player, and I think if you have a conviction, you have to do it. All right, quickly before we, we make the ultimate selection, we don't do trades in, in these ultimate mock drafts, but I think if you're the Vikings and you want to get to three and you're the Patriots and you have similar grades on whoever your third quarterback is and Michael Penix Jr., whomever, Moving down to 11 and getting number 23 in addition to probably another first-round pick in 2025 seems incredibly enticing. And that Maybe that's something you consider, but for our purposes here, that is off the board. So I think you just roll with Jaden Daniels and, and keep on keeping on. All right. And the great news is when you're a bad football team, you get to pick again early. So you're picking pick 34. And this team in the second round has had some struggles finding wide receivers. Chad Jackson back in the day in the 2006 draft. La a couple years ago, they took Tyquan Thornton, who's battled injuries in the second round. Oh, my gosh. Amarius Mims. Forget the quarterbacks. Amarius Mims is still there. Jackson Powers Johnson is still there. Graham Barton is still there. All right. This is pretty easy. So just to, to make sure we're on the same page here, they have signed Chuck Sikor for the right tackle from the Steelers. They have Owenu still coming. Uh, he's coming back. They have uh, Connor McDermott as their left tackle, as we sit here. Or Darian Lowe, who they traded for a few years ago out of Illinois. I feel like this is pretty cut and dry. Yeah, I think it's a slam dunk. I think it's great value to get this player to position of need. Um, so I would absolutely take it. But it also happens to be one of the biggest needs I think this team has. Yeah, so Amari Smith somehow slipping to pick 34. He does have an injury history and a, and a short career because he's, he's really young. But he is a special player when he's healthy. And if they can keep him healthy in New England with Jane Daniels as their franchise quarterback, that's back-to-back -back grand slams. All right. That counts up to eight runs. All right, pick 68 is next. Man, now we need Jackson Powers Johnson to fall to 68, and then we're really cooking with gas. All right, let's see if we've got some wide receivers here, if that's the direction you want to go. Uh, they did sign K.J. Osborne, if that does anything for you. Still have Kendrick Bourne, Demario Douglas last year's rookie. He was probably their most explosive player. Malachi Corley's still there. I like the idea of Jaden Daniels throwing to Malachi Corley, but perhaps you feel different. Jalen McMillan's still there out of Washington. Jermaine Burton, who's a burner down the field. I don't think I'd take Brendan Rice this high, but he's another long, big target. You want to go wide receiver or look elsewhere? Um, that's tough because I do like the the options that are available. Wide receiver. Who are the cornerbacks? Real quick, Harry, if you wouldn't mind. Of course. Um, Chris Abel Drain's still there. Kyrie Jackson, who's a long corner out of Oregon, Alabama transfer, is still available at 68. Maybe that's a little rich. Christian Gonzalez is coming back, which is good news. And then they have Jonathan Jones, who's been there for a few years. I think they also cut uh, Jackson that they had and then sent to L uh, the Chargers and came back, right? Yep. Yeah so. yeah, so I do think that's a position of need, but um, I think that the wide receiver position may be better value at this point. All right, and hit the all button real quick just to make sure we're not missing out. So Peyton Wilson's still there, and then Malachi's pretty high up. I, I'm not a huge Chris Jenkins fan at this point. Score down a hair more, and then Cam Kitchens, Mason Smith. Okay, what do you think? I, I'm leaning wide receiver? Yeah, I think we do wide receiver, whether that's Malachi Corley, Javon Baker, whichever your preference is. Let's go with Malachi Corley. He can get the ball close to the line of scrimmage, just in case the offensive line still stinks, and then let him do the rest. All right, the first three picks are Jaden Daniels, Amarius Mims, and Malachi Corley. You, you can't mess that up unless you bring back Matt Patricia. All right, next up, pick 103. Oh, oh, Javon Bullard feels like a, uh, a Patriot, doesn't he? 
He does, and Chris Abrams' reign is still there too. So uh, having to choose between which one those two would be very difficult. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's uh, I didn't want to have to make this choice. By the way, um, Marty, Marcus Jones is their nickelback, and he's a really good player as well. Yeah, I think. Well, you kind of swayed me with that. Let's go with Chris Abrams' reign then. Yeah. All right. Because they have shown some interest in the cornerback position, even recently. So I do think it's a position that they are evaluating as, as a potential weakness for them as well. And they're wide open about the different sizes and shapes of the cornerbacks. So like long corners like Christian Gonzalez, smaller corners like, like Marcus Jones. So they are not uh, beholden to, to one body type, which is, in our situation, a pretty good. Uh, pick 137. So, again, a team with a million needs. Go back to wide receiver. Let's just see who's out there because they need a ton of them. Malik Washington's more of a Demario Douglas type, so you don't need him. Nothing blowing my hair back with this. They all they're all similar slot type players at this point. All right, hit the all button. Harry, thank you there. Anything that uh catches your eye? Yeah, I think towards the top, just Zach Zinter, to me, is somebody that I was really high on early this year. Battled injuries, of course. Um, but to me, he feels like a Patriots type of offensive lineman. So uh, that's probably the direction I would go just to continue giving them some depth there. Uh, protect Jaden Daniels in this situation. Our interior offensive lineman out of uh, Michigan suffered an uh, injury during the course of the year. They did draft City So and uh, Antonio Mafi last season. So played a lot. They have Cole Strange and then David Andrews. You're okay going more interior line? I am because I like I like Zinter better than some of the options they have on okay. the roster yeah. currently. So right. And if you're if you're improving the position, absolutely. If nothing else, it's healthy competition. All right. Three more picks here. Pick 180 now on the board. So let's see here. Jerry and Jones, the longest corner. Oh, Bordellini, more help interior and interior offensive line. Let's uh I'm trying to think. Hit the defensive tackle button. Let's just see who's sitting there. So Jordan Jefferson, Logan Lee, Marcus Harris. Marcus Harris is a player I like out of um, Auburn. I don't think this is too high for him, but uh, they have uh, Devon Gosho and, and Christian Barmore. Any other positions strike you as positions of need? Hit the linebacker button, too. How about that? Because they have Juwan Bentley and uh, Jelani Tabai. They have Sione Takitaki. Tabai and Takitaki always confuse me for one another. I love Teron Hopper, Hopper here. He is a hair on his fire type, uh, type player. Hair on fire type player, I should say. Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah, we can go that direction. Yeah, yeah let's I'm go good Teron Hopper, man. Hopper, that dude plays with the purpose. All right, two more picks. All right, Anima Pritchett offers more depth at the uh, – Brandon Coleman. Uh, Pritchett's a, a defensive back. Brandon Coleman at TCU offers more depth along the offensive line. I don't know if they need running back depth. depth. Um, any particular direction you want to go here? Uh, best available is a lot of positions we've already addressed or they don't have a need on the roster. Um, defensive – did we just take a defensive lineman? No, I looked at it, but I we went with uh, okay. linebacker. Well, your guy Marcus Harris is still there. Jordan Jefferson is is a Patriots type skill set. So a couple of couple couple of options there we could go towards. Yeah, let's do Marcus Harris. I, I liked his tape. I didn't think he had a a great senior bowl. He had a serviceable senior bowl. And if he had done better there, maybe we're talking more about him. And then one more pick at two thirty one. Let's see. The quarterback room is currently Jacoby Brissett, Bailey Zappi, and Jaden Daniels, so we don't need necessarily Dylan Lobby. Just <laughs> feels like a Steeler because I mean, like a uh, Patriot because he he fits the uh, the the archetype there. Uh, Juwan Jordan, Evan Williams. Evan Williams is a close to the line of scrimmage safety slash linebacker type. I don't know if you think about that in terms of whatever you do with Kyle Duggar and adding some depth there. Brevin Span Ford is a sort of a lumbering tight end. Ro Torrance is a long corner. Maybe you think about that. Or Anthony. Yeah, Gold, I like the you. idea. I like the idea of Evan Williams. Okay. Uh, just to give him a little more depth there. I think he's a smart player. So uh, somebody that Antonio Pierce 
will probably fall in love with during this process. <laughs> All right, Evan Williams, it is out of Oregon. I thought he had a really not good Antonio ball. Pierce, Gerard Mayo. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant just because uh, the uh, skill set that the, the Raiders might want him. All right. Either way, I know what you meant. Jaden Daniels is the quarterback for your New England Patriots. And Marius Mims somehow still there at 34. Then Malachi Corley there in the third round. Chris Abram Strain is your cornerback. And then Zach Center adds some depth. And then three defensive guys to round it out. I like that draft. Uh, sadly, this team probably still won't be competitive yet in the in the uh, AFC East, but that's a conversation for another time. That wraps up the Perfect Patriots draft. Make sure to subscribe to NFL and CBS on YouTube and download the With the First Pick podcast, wherever you get your podcast. Stay tuned for more Ultimate Mock Drafts because we're hitting all 32 teams. <laughs>